new location detected. More Skyon control node chips? Acknowledged. Great. Finally be able to find out who's controlling the Skyon neural networks. Possibility acknowledged. Possibility? I don't get a probability this time? Insufficient analysis of current situation. Are you on energy saver mode? Insufficient analysis. Whatever. Let's find these chips. Probability of departure, 75%. Yeah, good one. Skyan scout troop detected in building complex directly ahead. I'm getting tired of these fuckers. Let's bust some alien heads. Acknowledge, Commander. It's fine. Okay. That's what it looks like. Environmental analysis. This is just an old ruin. Don't always need to worry so much, little guy. Analysis. Highly angular structures detected. Analysis has 78% chance of error. Recommendation. Upgrade risk level. Ready weapons for ambush. Soldiers' neural systems show evidence of multiple connections occurring immediately before destruction. What? Their own neural systems? One supposition. Skyans have ability to link own minds to their computers. Is everything okay? You're being really weird. Negative. Analysis of recent interactions reveals increased efficiency results from use of conversational expressions. You mean you can answer my stupid questions quicker and get the conversation finished? Commander analysis insufficiently complex. But not wrong, huh? Uh, well, anyway. The Skyans are linking themselves with their machines. It's still nothing groundbreaking. Reminds me of Dawkins and the hybrid. Still, I'd love to know. How much control do the Skyans have over themselves and their machines? Or is it like it was for Dawkins? Merging with the machine means losing some of yourself. Suggestion. Further scanning will help determine question. This unit will report next location as soon as possible. Good. Do that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank the heavens. 
If something had happened to Dex, I, I... I don't know what I would have done. Take better care from now on. I will. You have my word. Jarts. Ara is so... Keep going. I'm doing what I do best. It's the best help I can be. <sighs> Shit. Again. What am I doing here? What did I do? I'll need to take care of it if I want it to stop. Hey, listen. I don't know if you're used to this or not, but... Yeah. Okay. I'll hold your hand while you give your report to the Duke. You're making fun of me? With all the compromises you're making over the crap in the Bastion? Say what you want. You don't fully support that sixth power shit either. You don't know how wrong you are. Oh, come on. Quit it. The sooner we finish, the better. So get on over to the crater, and don't you forget to take me along. What are you gonna do if Baxter only wants me dead? You know the answer to that. How many times a year do you actually host a reception committee for the Duke? We can do it again if you want an ass beaten. No, it's okay. Then shut your mouth. I got both my eyes on you. Would you look at that? It's my two favorite assholes. Shit for brains and piss puddle. I'm here with the monthly report. That's a good doggy. Now, what's the report? I'll assume you did everything perfectly and exceeded all my expectations. Cut the crap, Baxter, all right? All the latest assignments were doomed to fail from the start, and you know it. Yeah, I noticed the fail part. So, bully, what are we gonna do about that? Maybe you're not getting the right incentive. I was with him on the missions. One, how the fuck did that happen? Two, why the fuck did that happen? I tagged along with him. He's right. You were asking the impossible. Really? And I should give a shit about what you think, you puddle of lukewarm piss. Bully's supposed to be watching you, not using you to get on my nerves. Bad dog, Bully. That's another black mark on your record. Bully may be an asshole, but he's loyal to you. He's always been loyal to you. I'll remember you said that. Okay, Bully. This is how you're gonna make this right. I've got one last assignment for you. And if you fuck this up... I get it. What do you want me to do? There's this con man I picked up who says he can make our chems better. I don't know how, though. He wants some samples from those monster fuckers from the Dark Towers. You're making Bully collect Dark Elix so some guy can make chems out of it? Are you my fucking Echo? Yeah, that's what I said. So who is this con man? 
Oh, he's good. His snake oil's the best I've ever been sold. Now shut the fuck up before I permanently close your mouth with my fucking fist. Nah, I'm not doing it. Am I losing my hearing? I could swear I heard you say something, but it can't be. You telling me no? I've been out there enough to see what dark shit does to people. Fighting those beasts is one thing, but trying to get that shit out of them? Nah, I won't do that. And here I thought traveling around with this asshole would finally get you to grow a pair, or even half a pair. Speaking of growth, this is not the time to grow a backbone, bully. I'm warning you. Say whatever you want, man. I'm not getting that dark shit for you. Send someone else. Oh, bully. Poor, sweet, dumb, fucking bully. What am I gonna do with your stupid ass? Look, I'm pretty sure I told you to keep your fucking mouth shut. That's it, bully. You're demoted. You don't get any juicy assignments anymore. You're my bitch now. You'll run errands and do all the other boring little jobs no one else wants to do. What the fuck? I've busted my ass for you, Baxter. Year after fucking year. You know that. And that's the only reason why I'm not tossing your fucking corpse into the gutter. So shut up and listen. I've got a big job planned. And it'll be your old gang of desert devils doing the deed. You know they're all scattered all over the place. But they already know what they have to do. I had a last few loose ends to tie up, but now it's time for your old buddies to strut their stuff. Go out and find them, wherever they are. Give them the password. They'll know what to do next. What's the password? The calf is ready for slaughter. Can your dumbass remember that? Yeah, I'll remember it. That all? That's all. And don't fuck it up again, you get me? Now get the fuck out of my sight, you worthless pair of idiots. I've got shit to do. Not too... I got bo Not too bad. Desert Devils. That's what we called ourselves back then. We were a band of cutthroats that raised hell around Tavar. We were a pretty cool bunch. We stole like ravens and relied on each other. There was some real trust there. That was back when Baxter still had control at the Tavar Fort. Well, you must have had some tough times over the years. Yeah. After a while, we all went our separate ways. That's just the way it goes. Okay, so what now? You heard, Baxter. I gotta find the old Desert Devils and deliver the message. You know the Duke pretty well. What's the message to the Desert Devils mean? Don't know, but it sounds like a big haul. Maybe a convoy ambush or something like that. What do I care? I'm not in on the plan. I've just gotta put out the feelers and find the Desert Devils. You're coming with me when I find one. Oh yeah? Hey, until Baxter says otherwise, I'm still your babysitter, and you'll do what I say. Hmm, well, all right. found one of the old Desert Devils. Really? That was fast. Finding him was easy. He's running around the forest of Tavar. 
Old habits die hard, I guess. Mirko never really left our stomping grounds of Tavar. Mirko? What's he like? He's a lazy fuck who usually takes the path of least resistance. He doesn't really like anyone. He's pretty much a lying scumbag. We used to call him Greaseball. Sounds fitting. What do you think? Wanna go talk to him? Why not? After what you've told me, could be interesting. Let's get going. We've still got work to do to find his exact location. He's likely somewhere up ahead. Why here? Mirko loves an ambush. This place is perfect for him. We'll find out if I'm right in just a sec. <sighs> Infection. I've already forgotten about it again. If I don't get a handle on it, that thing is going to happen to me. Uh, what the hell? Fucking it. Do my eyes deceive me? Bully, you old brick shit house. I thought the rats would be gnawing on your corpse by now. Had more than a few close calls, that's for sure. Come on, don't bullshit me. You were always the biggest and baddest of the crew, you know that. Seriously, nothing could ever fuck your shit up. Plus, you've got a cushy job now. The Duke's right-hand man. <laughs> and here we are, wasting our lives out in the wilderness. Stop talking shit. You wouldn't want my job, and you know it. Have it your way, old buddy, old pal. But you didn't drag your pompous ass over here just to tell me that, did you? No, I did not. The Duke has a job for you. He says you already know the details. Ah, oh, he said that, did he? Well, give me a little hint. I don't know what it's about, but I've got a password. The calf is ready for slaughter. Oh, that means, uh... Whew, you, uh... You really don't know what this job is? Nope, and I don't care. It's your job, so get to it. Yeah, sure thing, buddy. Uh, I'll be going. This job needs some preparation, you know. The sooner I get started with that shit, the sooner we'll be ready to go. So I'll just say, uh, see you later, brother. Yep, see you around. Before you ask, no, I don't want to know. Excuse me? I mean, this kind of feels like the Duke has a really big plan with all this. Judging by your sleazy friend's reaction. Stop bugging me about that. I can't get involved in thinking about that shit. I've got to deliver the message and that's it. This is what the Duke wanted. Even you can see that, you moron. Maybe you're right, but I don't get it. Either way, there's no changing it. Now shut your face. We gotta keep moving. I'll let you know once I've tracked down another desert devil. Jarks. We'll see. Well, so be it. Out. Oh, I'll need to take care of it if I want it to stop. Don't believe half the shit he tells. Jax. What? I got a problem. What's up? I've been trying to cut down my elix use for days. I tell myself it's the way to true effectiveness and intuition. Without even really knowing what... I don't even know how to say it. You have doubts. Yeah. But not because of the Elix. I don't think my own people even understand what they're fighting for. I've spent a lot of time studying the plans we captured from the other factions. There's a lot of truth and power in them. 
To be honest, I would have expected much more hostility against the Alps. Most of the plans I've been able to look at were devoted to self-defense. At times like these, everyone thinks of themselves and their own first. By the way, your behavior right now is a little strange for someone like you, don't you think? I'd expected more ideological intentions and religious ideas. And now, under the circumstances, I'm not sure how it all affects the Alps. Do our own plans provide the same? Are we seeing the situation clearly? Or are we still sightless? Like back then, when everyone was blindly following the hybrid. You don't know. I follow the teachings of our agents and the commander. But I've never had a direct insight into their orders, much less. I understand. You want to get your hands on the Alps' strategic plans. I see no other way to remove my doubts. I've heard about a patrol of troopers somewhere up above the depot. Let's try our luck there. Yeah. I should really do something about these blackouts. I'll take care of them when there's time. All right. Let's go and check out your Alb patrol. Yeah. Let's do that. There's one thing, though. I don't want any of them harmed. Get it? I know. That goes without saying. All right. Then let's see you get hold of their plans without them realizing, okay? We'll give it a shot. Let's get going then. May the directive guide us. What's with this behavior? Stop it right now! These are the plans Nyra wants. I should get out of here. Fast. Ah... Uh, it doesn't feel right. Should we call the whole thing off? No. Then I'll never get out of my predicament. Here are the Alps' plans. Yeah. That's them. It feels treacherous to take them. It feels treacherous because it is treason. We stole strategic war plans from your leaders. Well, we couldn't do much worse to turn the Alps against us. We better keep this incident to ourselves. You agree with me, don't you? I think it would be better. Good. I'm gonna concentrate on studying my people's plans for now. If you don't have anything more important to do, would you excuse me? Of course. Jobs. Top. <sighs> Damn it. Where am I now? I got to killing me. I'll need to take care of it if I want it to stop. Okay. Hmm. I see. Don't believe half the shit he tells you. He's a fucking liar. Sound. And, uh, there was... Yeah. What's wrong? Did something happen to your son? No, he's safe now. But he was trying to get into the former in Tavar. Really? Hmm. 
How did the little scamp manage to get so far west? Surely he must have had help. Dex says he saw my father. Wardek? The former Alp commander? He's back? I don't know. I see. You know, a man of his standing could do a lot for our cause. Right. It's just a thought. How's your research on the infection coming along? I'm glad you asked. I know enough about Dark Elix now to say that there is no such thing as a cure. What? Once the transformation starts, it can only be delayed. I'm afraid you'll never be rid of it completely. So it was all for nothing? Wait. Just because you carry the Dark Elix pathogen doesn't mean you have to become a Skyanid creature. Willpower doesn't just determine when the transformation begins. It might be able to stop it completely. Oh yeah? Well, then I have nothing to worry about, do I? I should tell you, though. Not everyone can halt the mutation. What a surprise. Only people with enough determination and mental fortitude can learn to resist it. Your best chance of fending off the transformation is by starting to train your mind immediately. After all, your infection has been active for some time now. So, there's no real way of protecting people against this... this disease. Not as things stand right now. Come on. There has to be more to it than that. All I can say is, it would be better if no one else got infected until... Until what? I can't say any more right now. The Skyans are highly sophisticated. I can't perform decades of research overnight. Anyway, we have to stop them, or there will only be one kind of humanoid left. Them. So, from now, let's focus all our efforts on fighting the invaders. And, of course, I will continue to make whatever discoveries I can. So what is this special mental training? I've already fed the relevant protocol to your little drone. You should consult it regularly to complete the training. Right. And what if I don't? Ugh, forget it. Glad we got that cleared up. Come on, I've tracked down another desert devil. Good. Where are we headed? We're going to the City of Ruins. Thompson Town? Yeah, somewhere near there. Sounds like a great guy. I've received a report of new Skyanids. A couple of beasts have just been mutated right by the Bastion. If we move quickly, we can catch them before they disappear. Dawkins installed a special program into you to train my mind. Acknowledged. Training of Commander Core Mental Stability urgently recommended. All right, let's begin my mental training. Acknowledged. Initiating training protocol. Thanks. You really think it'll help me with my blackouts? Acknowledged. However, recommend repeating protocol as required. All right. We'll see how long it lasts. Stand by. My head. Right. Let's get our asses to Thompson Town. We can hunt down your next desert devil. I wish they were just desert devils. The creatures, I mean. Anyway, let's go. It must be holed up here somewhere. 
We'll keep looking until we find him. It may take a while to find him. The guy we're looking for, what's his name? Bender. His name is Bender. We used to call him Trickster, too. He was good at all kinds of shit. Gambling, women, taking money straight from someone's pocket. seen you in forever man how's it going you still baxter's little lap dog fuck off you know what happened well that's the price you pay having that sweet bodyguard gig i guess didn't you say you were baxter's right hand man yeah baxter's got a lot of those it depends on who he needs at the time what are you doing in here you're not hanging in this shithole because of me are you actually i am i've got a message from the duke he says he's finished with all the preparations for your next big job. Huh. Sounds good. He say anything else? He gave me a password for you. Okay, let me guess. The calf is ready for slaughter. I get that right? Sounds like you've got everything under control then. My work here is done. <laughs> Hold on a sec. You don't have a fucking clue what this job is, do you? Nope. Baxter said I'm not taking part in anything big and exciting right now. Ah, yeah, I didn't know that. Okay, I won't tempt you with the juicy details. Yeah, better not. It'll just fuck it up for both of us. I've got enough bullshit trouble already. I can see that. You're talking about your little friend here? Let me guess, another babysitting job? Kinda, but that's a whole other story. Gotcha. Well, let me get going. I got work to do now. Have fun with whatever it is you're doing. Later! How many people were in the gang? Four. There were four Desert Devils. Okay, there was a fifth Desert Devil for a bit, but he's gone. Where is he? Rumor is he got into one of the Alps raiders and crashed it. I also heard he went north with his brother. No idea. He's gone. That's all I know. Anyway, we've got one more Desert Devil to find. He's the last one I need to give Baxter's password to. His name is Ted. I'll let you know when I track him down. Training of Commander Corman.
Okay, let's hunt them down. I hope you know exactly where to find them. They move around a lot, so it won't be easy. We should head out at once. We're in luck. There they are. Right. We know what to do. Look, I know you've been bitten before, but just don't let them get you again, all right? Come on. Hmm. That's just not normal. these creatures hey I'm not a big fan either we need to find where their transformation took place if you take me there I can conduct a proper analysis give me a moment I need to focus Okay, fine. I'll take you to Theog. Can't wait to see how this turns out. I... Out with it! I'd like... He wants to fight you. Oh, what the hell? You, uh, need some training? Yes. No. What I mean is, I need you to... Don't be afraid. If you want to fight me... It's not that. Then what? The maniac wants you to thrash him. Sorry, what? That might be putting it too casually. The easiest way would be for me to provoke you, but that would be impolite. So... Okay, that's enough. Quit messing around. Whatever you might have taken, I have no time for this lunacy. So if you'll excuse me, I have things to do. I could also strike at him like this. Let it go. The Og was very clear. If you assault him that way, he'll definitely retaliate. Better to leave him in peace and find another victim. No need. I already have what I need. You do? But I thought you said... Even a negative outcome is an outcome, like writing a doctoral thesis. 
only a small amount of research is needed if one wishes to prove a hypothesis. If it transpires that the hypothesis is false, the thesis is still valid, so long as it is adequately comprehensive and accurate. You lost me a long while back. The important thing is that you helped me to complete my latest investigation. Thank you for your assistance. We will continue once I have further analyzed the data gathered so far. If you have time, I would gladly attempt another experiment later. Maybe you have some time to spare right now? Hmm. What do you have in mind? My next step towards mastering the art of humanity. I will help someone in distress. That is a very human thing to do. Okay. Just don't tell me you need someone to put themselves in danger so you can rescue them. There is no need for that. Such a person already exists. Rolf, the hunter, has been set upon by wild animals in his hunting grounds. I calculate that if we do not help him, he will be unsuccessful in fending them off. Hold on. You know that one of our men is in mortal danger and we're just standing here debating it? What the fuck, Falk? Where is he? As I said, Rolf, the hunter, is currently situated within his hunting grounds. Not far from where we took care of those wet lurkers. Then let's stop wasting time. We have to help him. This is my intention. So let's go. Ugh. My head. This damn infection. I should train my mind before that thing happens. <laughs> Damn it. Dawkins. When I grow up, I want to be just like you. They gone? At least you're still alive. That fucking android watched those damn bees swarming me. Do you think he lifted a fucking finger to help? He ran the fuck away! I apologize. I merely acted in accordance with the facts available to me at the time. Shut the fuck up. Look, thanks for your help. I'm gonna go treat my injuries. See you around. As for you, asshole. You better stay out of my way next time, got it? Of course. <clears throat> Do you require some sort of response from me? It'd be better if we didn't speak about this again. I am grateful for your support, but... I must allow myself some time to process these recent experiences. Do that. We'll talk later. Thanks. You see...
This is alarming. The, uh, I'm not sure what to call it, a plague? Whatever it is, it's far worse than I thought. What'd you find out? The incubation period is incredibly short. Those beasts became Skyanids no more than three hours after becoming infected. And right where we found the creatures. Does the size of the host make any difference? I can't say for certain, but I don't think so. Then what determines how long it takes? Is it just willpower like Dawkins thinks? There must be another way to fight this plague. Maybe something we haven't thought of yet. Difficult to say. All we know is that the speed of change isn't down to one simple factor, like metabolism or physical constitution. Given the rate of mutation, and assuming it affects all living beings on this planet in a similar way, then... Then what? It would only take a few days for the entire planet to be transformed if there's a real outbreak. <sighs> I'm afraid that's all I can tell you. I'll keep trying, though. Maybe if I could examine an especially large subject. I'll see if my scouts can track one down. Thanks for your help. I'll let you know as soon as I have news. Falk's a free unit. He can do what he wants. Acknowledged. Behavior flagged based on subject's association with known assassins. What? Why do you think that? Multiple instances of subject Falk meeting with human named Connor. Database identifies Connor as high-profile mercenary assassin. Huh. That is unexpected. He hasn't mentioned anything about any Connor to me. Subject meeting point marked in Commander's Agitor. <laughs> meeting point in close proximity to Bastion. Route presents no difficulties. Estimate subject Falk currently en route to meet point. Thanks, little guy. I'll check it out for myself. Stand by. <laughs>
exactly what Shit. And who the hell are you? Falk's buddy or something? Ugh. Figured as much. Last time I trust that asshole. What the hell is going on? To what are you referring? My drone tells me you've started socializing with contract killers and murderers. It told you that? It also said something about a man named Connor, a vicious killer you've met up with on several occasions. I've met this guy. He's not exactly what you'd call easygoing. So I believe my drone when he says he's a bad guy. I'm sorry to have caused any trouble. Trouble? I'm worried about you, Falk. Seriously worried. I can explain. Oh, this had better be good. Connor belongs to a large gang of Reavers. They call themselves the Sykes. Keep talking. Connor has proven himself to be a valuable mentor when it comes to learning about the negative characteristics of humankind. A new mentor? Negative characteristics? Shit, Falk, what the hell have you been doing? As part of my efforts to become more human, I took on a large number of contracts, all carried out successfully. I'm scared to even ask, what kind of contracts? They mostly involved killing other humans, primarily those who were easy to defeat and had many valuable possessions. Please tell me you're joking. In contrast to the experiments I have conducted with you, the ones that Connor has overseen are... Look, I know. That kind of behavior can be... Well, easier than the more compassionate kind. Being evil is very human, too. But tell me one thing. When you did experiments with me as your mentor, you were always in charge of deciding how the experiment worked. Is it the same way with Connor? No. The nature of the experiments, the missions themselves, have come exclusively from him. Holy shit, Falk. You seem to be reacting negatively to this. Falk, you've become a contract killer for a gang of evil criminals. You see that, right? But all I did was... You're being manipulated. Killing innocent people to steal their Alexit, whatever valuables they have. Humans do many irrational things, but killing another member of the species in order to increase one's own wealth is not something I would characterize as irrational. It's the opposite. It's logical. Do you disagree? It's evil, Falk. It's human. You said so yourself. If there is an error in my thinking, please explain it to me. Look, let's forget about that for now. But those shit heel friends of yours have to go. The Sykes? Why? What is the nature of the problem? If you want to keep working with me, you have to cut off all contact with them. Those psychopaths are using you. Try and stop doing what they ask, then you'll really know what kind of people they are. They'd sooner kill you than let you go. I suspect you may be right. What course of action do you suggest? We'll destroy the Sykes. Tell me where I can find them. Of course. Simply inform me once you are ready to set off. Let's go pulverize the Sykes. Very well. I'll show you where to find them. Follow me. You will find the Sykes headquarters just over there. It's usually empty. The Sykes are often otherwise engaged. But perhaps we will be in luck. You go first. I'll be right behind you. Who knows how long this will last? I'll show you! I'll show you! You're done, fool! Ah! 
Behaving without morals is easy, but leads to many dangers. You are correct. Behaving without morals is easier, but leads to many dangers. If I requested that the Sykes release me from my obligations, I suspect they would not react in a peaceful manner. Once you become a member of their gang, they do not grant permission for you to leave. I'm right behind you! Was that the last of them? Yes. The Sykes are all taken care of. Excellent. Then we can move on to the next item on today's agenda. I'm afraid I can't do that. As well as putting yourself in danger. You've caused a lot of harm to other people. Other humans. That's not something I can just ignore. I understand. What do you intend to do? Honestly, I don't know yet. I need to think about how I can regain my trust in you. I have to know you can be relied upon. That is a logical response. I will also take some time to reflect upon this matter. Yes, do that. What happened with the Sykes? It can never happen again. Your wishes are clear. I will adjust accordingly. I wonder what the half-life of such a factory would be under normal circumstances. Commander, report. What is it? Android Falk en route to attack on multiple Skyend sites in Marakor. How do you know that? Android Falk shared information. You're in radio contact? Acknowledged. Two-sided communication mutually recognized as beneficial. Sharing protocols initiate. Okay, got it. Tell Falk to stop fucking around and return to me immediately. Negative. Android Falk preemptively broke off communication based on prediction you would react that way. You did, huh? Right. Android Falk's last location available to Commander's Adjutor. God damn it. I have no idea what he's thinking right now. But I get a nasty feeling he's sacrificing himself for some reason to do me a favor. I gotta stop him before he does something really dumb. Stand by. <laughs> Hey there. Jax, how did you find me? Your drone? What are you doing here? You wanted proof of my loyalty, my reliability, yes? What better way to achieve this than to engage in the fight against the alien invaders? That's bullshit. Stop wasting your time. If you wear out your parts in a pointless solo battle, you'll be no use to me. But you said... I know what I said. I have a lot of work ahead of me. I need your help. But I failed you. I made you angry. Anger has been the main result of all my recent actions. That's bullshit, and I'll tell you why. You're not perfect. Who is? But however you mess up, we'll straighten it out between us. You may not be human, but you're as valuable a member of society as anybody else. That in itself is a great achievement for a machine. We've known each other a long time. 
and you've become someone I care about. Very much a friend. So let's just forget about what's happened and get the hell out of here. If that is true, I have no choice but to concede. There is one condition, however. Tell me. If I ever suggest that I might continue with my efforts to become more human... Yeah? Smash my malfunctioning head with a large metal object. Okay? <laughs> Pretty good suggestion. I'll take it under advisement. Please do. If you knew that, why get mixed up with them in the first place? It is imperative that I take risks. It's what humans do. I have a strong desire to make a significant impact on this world. <laughs> 